How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video was actually take a few minutes to talk with you all about managing uh, your dashboards within MUI. And there's a few things when you set these up that you're going to want to take a few minutes to complete the steps in. Uh, of course, when we first get into MUI, the first thing that you see is going to be uh, your dashboard for a particular building that you set up. There's a lot of customization that you can do to these. But what I basically wanted to do is to give you an understanding of some of the basic principles you're going to need to know when setting up your dashboards for any of your buildings, for your equipment and that sort of thing. You can see here when I click just onto a building, I get this general overview of a graphic. And then, of course, I've got some customization things that I've done. I've got some general information that I wanted to have available just as soon as I clicked onto it. And then when I go into one of the floors, I can see the layout for the floor. I can see a graphic. I can see our schedules. And then I can, of course, see the equipment that serves each of these floors. And this is just page one. I can drill down over here. I can drop down to page two. There's some other information in here that I can use that I can set up and customize as well. Okay, and you can do this any way you want it. So what I wanted to do is to give you an understanding of why you need to make certain selections within SCT that you will as you're setting these up. So let's just go into SCT and what I am doing now is I'm looking at my spaces tree and I have the building selected that we were just looking at. You can see here the type, uh, and this is critical here. You can see here when I click into this, uh, the reason that I want to select this type is because if I do not select it properly, it is not going to display correctly within MUI. Okay, I have a few different options I can select here, either generic building, floor, or room okay each of these can be customizable now let's just look at the uh, settings for one labeled as floor of course it is selected as floor and that is uh, how it should be I can also select stairwells uh, equipment things like that now for the equipment I just have a generic type selected Okay, let's cancel out of this and I want to show you the relationship between this and go back into MUI and I'm going to go up to the skinny snowman up here in the right corner. I'm going to go over to administrative tools and then I'm going to go into the dashboard manager right here and this is going to pull up basically how you're going to customize your dashboards. You can see here we have our layout as far as generic, then we have building, we have floor, and then we have room. Just like what we've seen here in our SCT with the different options that we could select under the type. Okay, now inside here, if I were to click on building, uh, as you can see here, the first thing that I would see, page one, I see a graphic that is a full page. It is that full block. You can see it right here. All right, I can see that from when I go here. It's building. That's what we have selected. And, of course, uh, you know, that is what we are displaying. Page two, I have schedules, equipment summaries, and things like that. And let's just open it up a little bit more where we can see a little more of what we're talking about here. Of course, page one, if I go down to page two, I can change that here. And the only thing that we have pulled into this one is, of course, the schedule and equipment summary. We can customize this more, which we will be doing later. Page three, I can go down to some more of the information some of the changes and things like that. Uh, potential problem areas, which is a very cool feature within MUI. And, uh, but right now, let's just go back to our page one. And the way that you will typically come into one of these is generally from page one. And you will customize that in the dashboard manager. Okay, if I go back in here, uh, that is done right here. Of course, when we look at a floor, and I tell you what, let's just go ahead and open up another tab uh, to where we have a couple things going on where we can actually see some things live. 
okay it'll take you just a moment to populate but if i were to go into look at a floor uh, and you can see here when i look at a floor i have graphics uh, typically in the upper left i have schedule upper right and then of course our equipment summary along the bottom and just to show you how that relates let's look at what we have here corresponding okay page one graphics upper left you can see here there's my graphics for this page uh, upper right i have schedule and that is over here and then of course down at the bottom we have the equipment summary which is what is currently selected for this okay uh, this is how you can go in and set up your particular pages and we also have as well we have equipment serving space which is on page two so i can drop down page two and it will show me the equipment serving space and again guys we, we don't have all of this set up just yet we're still in the process of getting a lot of it set up so there's a lot that you can do uh, there's a lot that you can uh, add in and basically set this system up how uh, it will work for you and your organization uh, for us this is typically what we will do uh, I can simply go over to the right if I needed to see the schedules for all of this equipment. Right here it is. I can simply expand that out and I can see all of the schedules for that. If I want to go and look at the individual equipment, it's right here all the way down through. And of course I can page over just like that and have a complete list of all of the equipment or you know the graphics. It just really depends on what I want to do. And all of that is done in your dashboards manager you can also go down to individual equipment and select custom things custom elements for that as well okay you can drill down to whatever piece of equipment you want and it will give you the options to customize that piece of equipment within your system okay uh, if you remember back under our equipment definitions and sct how we set those things up the type of systems that we set up for them uh, you can see here equipment definitions uh, you know dual duct air handlers you can go in here uh, and I can set up my configuration tab of course that's an air handler uh, of course chill water system uh, central this would be central cooling plants and so on all of this is something that can easily be overlooked when you're setting up MUI especially especially if you get into uh, basically just leaving everything as a default uh, you really need to go back in and change these to give them a little bit better identification as to what they are. Particularly when you get into the spaces, when you're setting up spaces in MUI, because a lot of the way your system looks is going to depend on how you select those particular devices and how you set them up, whether you set them up as generic, whether you set them up as a floor space, a room, or whatever. Okay, That's something that you're going to need to be aware of. Uh, you know, so there's just a lot of features that you can do in here. Okay, I can go in here and I can add a different widget type, which we're using all of those currently. So there's no more than I can add to this one. But this can be very useful. This can be very powerful. And it will give you a lot of options to go in and be able to customize things to work better for you. Okay, this is just a brief overview that I wanted to do. I will be doing more detailed videos on MUI in the future, uh, but hopefully this series so far has been giving you enough information to be able to get you started on setting up MUI, uh, you know, taking you from the elements, basically starting with SCT and building all the way through to get a useful uh, setup within your system. Uh, if you have not seen the other videos, I've got an entire playlist that you guys may want to check out uh, that is just going to be focusing on MUI in general, just to get it all set up and be able to take you through the process. It's going to be a little bit different for each system out there because uh, everyone uses their system a little bit differently, but this just kind of follows along how we use ours. If you like these videos, please consider supporting the channel by visiting the affiliate links down in the description below. If there's something that you are interested in purchasing, you can just simply go through the, one of those affiliate links and do your search on Amazon. Anything that you purchase through there helps to support what we do here. Also, be sure to share the videos. Be sure to leave us a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. 
And guys, if you have any questions, leave those down in the comments below. I try to get back and answer as many questions as I possibly can. But guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel, and we'll see you next time.